channel this is Sam and playing Dragon Age Seven. Binary pros? Sure. Lots of them. Do they still get capes? Of course. Why wouldn't they get capes? I don't know. People do stupid gender stuff. Only men can wear this. Only women wear that. Not in Antiva. The only rule is that you must have style. Good. Picnic, huh? <laughs> Don't know how I pictured hanging out with a monster hunter. Evka and Antoine's doing. They told me after all the wardens have been through, and what's ahead, I should take a break. I'm surprised you actually listen. You know how sad Antoine can look? So what did you pack for the picnic? Emmerich helped me brew a ginger ward truffle tea. I thought we'd see what all the fuss is about. An adventure in a teapot. More like a rediscovery. Apparently it's an old, old recipe. Well then, to your health. Cheers. That's not bad. It's, um, gingery, but also garlic, hints of mushroom, and, uh, something else. Well, I've never eaten a worm, but yeah, it is a little earthy. Wait, what? There, Davrin. What? Asan just talked to me. Huh? What did he say? No, not that. What you said before. Emmerich said Ginger Ward might have some kind of magical properties. More than mine. Hmm. Maybe it affects some people more than others. You all right, Rook? Worms to you too, Hassan. Worms? Hey, yeah, you wouldn't get it. It's between me and Hassan. You want to dig some up for him? Be my guest. I'll skip that. Thanks for getting me out of the lighthouse, Davrin. And with good company.
Pessala Now, what do you have to say for yourself? Uh, Did I miss something? Uh, since we're here to gather flowers for the dead, I thought I'd teach Manfred some plant names. But I just caught him attempting to wade into a rose bush. <coughs> that must have been frustrating. He knows he's not supposed to play in the horticulture. Oh, Manfred, whatever will happen to you if I pass on? If? Ah, there's something I'd like to talk about. Do you know what a lich is, Rook? An undead mage that's retained their <clears throat> mind. They're theoretical, aren't they? The idea fascinated me when I was younger. For years, I researched and experimented, spoke with spirits and mages. Then, eventually, I found them. Who? Oh. The lich lords of the Grand Necropolis. Necromancers before me who'd transformed themselves into true living dead. <laughs> You're making this up, right? Rook, please. I've told so few people. Sorry. The liches are the great protectors of the necropolis, bulwarks against forces that threaten creation. After years of tests and rituals, they granted me my desire, the right to attempt lichdom. I'm no mage, but even basic watcher training makes lichdom sound tricky. I've long prepared for it. I hope so. Lichdom is an incredible honor. Immortality, prestige, the most hallowed ranks of the Watchers, as well as a chance to be of service past my allotted years. But there are considerations. Come. We have flowers to gather for the dead. Okay, but I've got questions. Blue creep vine. This will do nicely. So, if you were a lich, it wouldn't be a spirit mimicking you. It'd be your actual soul in the corpse. It would. I didn't think. 
Wait, is that what Vorgoth is? Oh, no one knows what Vorgoth is. Ah, moon blossoms, famed in verse and song. It smells like perfume. Do liches have a sense of smell? I've been told that while some of my senses will dull, others will become available. Other than that, I can't say if the flowers would still hold their bloom for me. Lichdom serves a purpose. There are dark things in creation, threats to both our world and the Fade. The liches of the necropolis have the insight and the abilities to oppose them. And you're joining them when? Certain elements have held me back. There's no ready instructions for lichdom. The steps must be discovered on one's own over years to be fully understood. Does the spell to become a lich kill you, or do you have to...? No, mercifully, that falls to another Watcher. After my death, my soul will be drawn back into my body instead of moving on to whatever lies beyond. So, what's holding you back from Lichdom? Even with all my preparations, there's a chance I could die, permanently, during the rites. What cowardice! The promise of immortality, an end to all my fears, and the final veil stays my hand. You want Lichdom that badly, you have to go for it. I always thought I'd find the courage when I grew older. Traditionally, candidates for Lichdom face one final sifting of the soul. If they avoid it, you saw my old colleague. Hezenkos? She's a Lich. A half-Lich, though that hasn't diminished her powers. Until I stop her plans, I won't possess the peace of mind for Lichdom. Why don't you select the next flowers, Rook? Sure. The other flowers for so, the dead. So, what's a half Lich exactly? Johanna attempted the rites of Lichdom and failed. Stuck in her in between state, she is supremely dangerous, but can't learn any new magic. No wonder Hezenkos was shouting so much. No, oh, she's always been that way. What about the sifting of a soul that Hezenkos avoided? The spirits of the necropolis judge whether a candidate is worthy of the power and responsibility of lichdom. How'd she become a lich without it? I shared some knowledge when we were colleagues. She apparently put together more than I knew. It would be just like her to skip the rituals, the cleansings, the preparations of the soul. For a Watcher, Hezenkos is pretty harsh on spirits. We made allowances because of her discoveries. Too many. Spirits are not things to be disposed of. You really care about them. They're so susceptible to the world's whims, Rook. Some spirits are dangerous. But how quickly most respond to a bit of kindness, or care, or simple attempt to understand. For all she's done, I can't condemn Johanna for attempting lichdom. That freedom from mortality, that divorce from fear. And of course, time to read all of one's books. Of course. But how she's abused her abilities. Are my intentions enough to fare better? Worrying's a good sign. We have enough flowers. There's something I'd like to show you. Here we are. Oh, so these flowers are for... <clears throat> yes. 
If you could place them on the graves, please. In memory of Rupert and Eleonora Volcarin, they walk eternity hand in hand. After I became a watcher, I erected a proper shrine to my parents. When I come to talk, I like to think they listen. Well, don't be shy. Introduce yourself. Rook, also a Morn Watcher. How'd you do? Remember that? Some memories are bright. Others are akin to those dim early morning dreams one gets sometimes. Lately, I wondered what they'd think of our current course. The choices ahead. Your legitim. What would they have wanted me to be? I can tell you what I think they'd want you to be. What's that? Happy. You could always speak with your folks, couldn't you? My parents last saw me as a boy. By the time I mastered my corpse whispering, I was a man. If I woke them, there might be a flash of recognition, or... Besides, if I speak to too many other spirits, Manfred might grow jealous. Can't have that. He'd be impossible, I agree. Still <coughs> very far from 47. Very. Good. We're past the blight and no one heard our gondola. Where to now? We go under the bridge. We aren't going in through a sewer, are we? No sewers in Treviso. The streets are barely above water as it is. There's a hidden escape route. That's our way inside. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Find a way inside the villa. the pani, pani Your house has a secret escape room, and Ilario didn't post a guard on it. Ilario doesn't know it's here. Why not? Katarina didn't even tell me about it. I found it laying here alone as a boy. What the?
Katarina must be a difficult prisoner. And here we are. Welcome to Villa de la Morte. No wonder Ilario wants to inherit. Smells like dust in linseed oil. Don't say that, but Praterina is in earshot. Travel ahead. Intruders! First the blood comes to my city, and now you want my house? comfortable, but we'll get them out. The family rooms are up ahead. First her, and then we find what we seek. someplace safe before we go after Ilario. You'll do no such thing. There's no time for heroic nonsense. Heroic nonsense saved your grandson and is rescuing you now. I won't let Ilario do more damage. Go. I'll meet you in the Opera House. I hope she can keep herself safe. Welcome to House de la Morte, Rook. He's welcoming now. We are so far in the house. <clears throat> Do you have a plan to deal with Ilario? Lucanis, I'm working on it. The traitor deserves no mercy. This is it. Get ready. You have a plan now, right? Knives are involved. Katerina's death was a tragedy. But to get Lucanus back from the dead, only to lose him to a demon. For me, it is a deep personal loss. And so, I take the mantle of First Talon with a heavy heart. But the crows will rise from the ashes. With our new allies, the Venatori, we can reclaim Antiva over my dead body. What can be arranged? Both. 
hide this many. Benatori, to me, honor your alliance. Now, with even no. my land, you'll be here. You should have stayed dead, Makanis. You want to fight, right? All of this on your head. You started this. My men. going to do that is worse than this on your knees in front of every house get up Hilario Caterina thank the maker no one from house de la morte kneels mierda what am I supposed to do with this idiot he tried to kill you and got you imprisoned and kidnapped the first talent and made a deal with the Venatori. Too much to forgive. But he's still all I've got. Iago, lock him up. Do you think you could put me away? That is not your decision, is it? Caterina is still first talent. Enough, Hilario. Lucanis is first talent now. His decision stands. You're lucky he didn't cut your throat. Welcome home, my boy. A toast to the new first talon. To Lucanis! Celebrating you. Mm. I have other plans for the evening. Really? You came all the way back here for coffee. The stuff in your villa wasn't good enough. It's better if I make it myself. And I wanted some quiet. So, first Talon of the Crows, huh? Does that mean you'll be leaving us? No. We have a contract. Besides, she may have stepped down, but there's no stopping Katarina from giving all the orders. I still cannot believe she did that. Are you holding up okay? After, you know, Hilario and your grandmother and everything. <laughs> I wouldn't call it okay, exactly. Hmm. Fucking Hilario. See ya. Do you regret putting him in prison? No. Not with Treviso in such chaos. The last thing I need is my full cousin causing more. 
Let Ilario sit and think on his mistakes. It may do him good. I was surprised you spared him at all, really. So was I. But I don't have a lot to lose. What there is, Ilario, Katarina, Nev, this team. I'm not giving that up. Maybe it's time to talk to Solus. Let me first check if there are yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Because once I do the Solus's mission. Lord's bar. Okay, they are certainly enjoying themselves. <coughs> Let's talk to Davrin, then Belara, Harding, and Tash, and then Emlik. Evka and Antoine sent word. A warden's arrived at Lavendel with news. We might have a lead on Isaiah. Then we've got to get to Lavendel. Agreed. Thanks. Got a quest here. We'll do this one. Let's talk to the other guys. Irlin and Strife reached out. They finished preparations for Syrian's funeral. I... I could use someone to come with me, if you're able. Just let me know, okay? Sure thing. Okay. I'm meeting Stalgard at Isana Nagat, on the mountain. Come with me? Is there unfinished business? No, nothing of the sort, but I could use company if you're up for the trip. There are Tash and Emrik to talk. Before I can go for the Davids mission. Hey, you up for drinks? I'm taking Ballara to the hilt for drinks in the Lords of Fortune. You should come. Isabella's paying. Sounds fun. No I man. That was unexpected, but still. Let's talk to him. Mana. Hello. I assume Vorgoth's not far We but... have her, Rook. We have her. We know exactly what she's planning. The professor asked us to research the artifact that came into the possession of Johanna Hesenkos. She carries a gloaming lantern. There you are. They were fashioned in ages past by unscrupulous necromancers. 
The lanterns steal and concentrate life. Johanna could use it to leech life from hundreds at a time. An endless source of power. A lantern that sucks the life out of people. Their very souls. But we know where Johanna will be. She has returned to Blackthorn Manor. Hezenkos intends to hold a soiree. That can't be her whole plan. No, but I propose a small group infiltrate Johanna's lair while she's distracted and destroy her lantern. Let's do it. Vorgoth and I must return to the necropolis. Hunt well. If only we could make Johanna see reason. You tried before. She seems stubborn. Perhaps that's why she attained immortality. While I quake on the threshold. When? If I make my own bid for lichdom. Oh, it's no use pretending this hasn't stirred up that old dread of my own mortality. You could also be having a normal reaction to facing danger every other day. No, it shouldn't be this crushing, this prevalent. It... No. Oh. Johanna was never beset by these sort of fears. Little fears, healthy. You'll feel better once we crash her lair and destroy that lantern. Promise. So this is the first mission I'm going to do in the next video because it will take time. But for now... Yeah, let's go to Hosburg. I've never taken this two together. Let's see. Lucas Kaisen, one of our own. He left on his calling months ago, then stumbled back in last night. That's one tough warden. I've never heard of this before. Someone coming back. Except the Gloom Howler. Warden Kreisen, can you talk? What happened? <clears throat> the dead are dead. <clears throat> Who isn't? <clears throat> <clears throat> the Deep World. <clears throat> the Elf wants vengeance. She's planning a crusade. Isaiah. A crusade against who? Grey Wardens. All of us. Well, that's not ominous. She's just lost her mind. <laughs> Gathering forces. Griffins are there. How much time? Lucas. Is dead. Antoine, I need to know where he came out of the deep roads. It's time we flush the sewers. Gloom armor. I hope I can get to her. This is it, where Warden Chrysan came back from his calling. Easy boy. He senses Darkspawn? That. And the Griffins. This is your time, boy. You're ready for this. Hunt. Don't go getting a big head, boy. I mean. So, why would the Gloom Howler. Isaiah. 
Right. What's her angle? Why bring the Griffins to the Deep Roads? She was a Grey Warden. Last anyone heard, she disappeared down here. After using blood magic on her own Griffins. And she's still at it. The Archdemon blood she took from the Cauldron? That's the end of Asan's family if we don't stop her. What's your name, Warden? What is this place? Sanctuary. It reeks of darkspawn and blight. Embrace it, and it will embrace you. The calling is not the end for Grey Wardens. You. You're not Warden. You're not allowed. Whatever you're doing down here, I'm sure it wasn't part of the Warden Oath. The oath says we kill monsters like this. What the? It didn't have to be this way. Only true believers shall fall. You're a warden. Keep your oath. Your doubt shall never fall. What are you talking about? Our blades defend the world. What does this say a done to them? What in the next? I don't know, but the blight's taken hold. like the deep roads I know. They're building something down here. It's almost like... Nah. Like what? A corrupted version of Weishaupt. And wardens. Fighting together? Wardens, what's wrong with you? Oh, what? Fire with steam 
Sons of Darkness? Snap out of this, Wardens. You say is evil. You're following a monster. It belongs us. <laughs> Fortress they're making, it's got rice hulks written all over it. Even blighted, they were still great wardens once. Old memories linger, echoes of them anyway, twisted by a Saya. did this to you? Gillanane did her worst. Then she found me. The Gloom Howler? Isaya? She's mad. She has the Wardens under her spell. She's on a crusade to wipe out the whole Order. What about the Griffins? She's going to blight them too. Turn our own symbols against us. Can we still stop her? She's about to start a blood ritual. You'll have to hurry. Search around. There's a feather from her own griffin long ago. I've seen her look at it with what passes for emotion. It might jog something. How can we help you? She's in my head. <sighs> Can't hold her off. I should have died at Weishaupt anyway. But... Give me some peace. That's an order, Warden. Yes, sir. Be at peace. 
sir. These wardens are lost. If we have to kill them, I hope they rest easy. The first warden mentioned a feather. We should look for it. They managed to rebuild the war room. I remember this from Weishaupt. They had lost their army. Now the war's stopped. Found a blueprint for Weishaupt. The real one. Must have used it to build this place. Here's the feather, for whatever it's worth. Let's get moving before I say it does her worst. Yeah, let's... Maps here. All across Thedas. Looks like battle plans. Say is ambitious. I'll give her that. Oh! <laughs> 
you die! I'm giving him his freedom! How? By killing him? By releasing him! We know who you are! Isaiah. The Great Warden who lost her way. You blighted the Griffins. You doomed them. The Wardens doomed them by their own decree. I saved them. The eggs. These are the future. With blight in their veins, the Griffins will be immortal. The Wardens will never harm them again. I will be their shield against the pain. What about this feather? It belonged to a griffin you cared for, didn't it? <laughs> Ravers. That was your mount? And a friend. Did the blight free it from pain? It drove her mad. I had to put her down. And you would do the same to these griffins? The Feather Brigade looks happy. And I'd like to keep it that way. Just not sure how. What do you have in mind? I was thinking I'd ask my good friend Rook for advice. I'm too close to this. Too attached. Davrin, they're hungry and staring at me. That one's salivating. <laughs> Let's do this. I asked you all here to make a decision. These griffins need a home, a purpose, a future. Evka, tradition would say they return home with the Grey Wardens, continue their lineage as warriors fighting the darkness. We're already preparing the Eri for them. This time, we vow they'll be treated with honor and respect. But I've also seen another side to them, a protective side. It's only fair to consider a new path. Eldrin? Arlathan Forest needs a guardian. Sentinels to fight the marauders, the poachers, the rot. I'd be happy to train them. And now the tough part. I trust all of you. I don't trust myself, my judgment. I'm too close to them. But I do trust Rook. He risked his life for these griffins. Whatever he feels is best, I'll agree to. Really? You sure? No doubt. So many things in our world changing, I think now is the time for Griffins to try something new. They've served the Wardens well, which is why I know they'll do the same for Arlathan Forest. I've seen a different side to them. The Shepherd, protecting creatures in our world who are often forgotten. The Griffins' new home should be among the trees. Well said. The forest and everything that lives there thanks you. I love you, boy. I don't want to lose you. They're your family. I understand if you want to go with them. It's up to you. <laughs> Bye, boy. Thanking Rook for all the help.
that you say? I can ride you all over Thedas when you're big enough? Hey, now. It's what he said, I swear. Yeah? How about we discuss it over some ginger warp tea? Ah. Uh... So, Asan is still with us. And I have to end the video here. It's a good thing we carried the feather. Yeah, I'm just doing this for the two hundred and ninety-five. Are okay? We'll do the rest of the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good day. See you soon. Take care and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.